Who the hell is It's that? time for our class of 2015, graduating student speaker. Where's Snoop Dogg? Attending Bucknell Snoop University and in. continuing Here his water polo career there. Please welcome Swim Captain Jonathan nope, G. Like, Coleman! Yeah. What'd you do? You saw Snoop Dogg there. What year was his son? I don't know. The Snoop Dogg son's here, right? Oh, man. Snoop Dogg and his sons. Where's Snoop Dogg? Shut up, man. Now I was once told to give a good speech, you have to be real. You have to be good, and you have to be gone. So let's try to do this as fast as possible. Let me begin by thanking the parents who have put up with our teenage temper tantrums. The brothers and sisters who, although quite annoying, we still love you. And the family and friends who, although we will always not admit it, we do love you and we do appreciate all you have done for us for the last four years. But class of 15, 2015, this is about you. We did it. We have survived. Yes, survived. There's no word to accurately describe these four, last four years of high school. Let me tell you, I was a little leery at first. And then Mr. Shock and the rest of the link crew had myself doing an icebreaker at freshman orientation where I'm running up and popping a balloon with a cute basketball girl. And I'm thinking, this is high school? Shh, it might not be that bad. Who here has ever tried to explain Polly to someone who has not gone to Polly? It's kind of difficult, isn't it? How do you explain that we have a misshapen track and yet we go to state in cross country and win girls uh, track all the time. How do you explain that although most schools plaster their CIS championship on a wall somewhere, we have a whole trophy case just overflowing with championships of league, state, and even, and, and just numerous championships so much that we have another hall dedicated to that. How do you explain that although we have no uniform, if you go to the quad any given day, you will see a poly shirt, a sweatshirt. So people are proud. How do you explain going to DC wearing a poly beanie and someone saying, go Jackrabbits? And you say, once a Jackrabbit, always a Jackrabbit. Jack While at poly, we have learned what it truly means to be a, to have Jack that Jackrabbit pride, <laughs> to be a scholar and a champion. In the classroom, we've learned to be scholars. Especially those wearing the banana suits, showing off that perfect 4.0 GPA. Banana suits. Others, <laughs> <laughs> others are wearing stoves that show off their proficiency in passing the AP exams or their work in the community service. Out of the classroom, we have champion on the field with victories earned in league, division, and state championships. In the arts, we've not only been dipped, but rather immersed, whether it be in music, dance, or drama. We've had the pleasure of participating and supporting our classmates on stage. All these factors have made it so when you ask Siri, what is the number one high school in California? It replies, Long Beach Polytechnic High School. <laughs> the lies. Pull out Siri, man. Pull out Siri. <laughs> in addition to being the number one high school in the state of California, we've met and made new and diverse friendships. We've built amazing friendships that have made it possible on those bad days to crawl out of bed and say, let's go to school today. As we graduate, we must, we must remember that this is not the end of the road. It's our time to forge our own path. 